Okay, we're gonna give this another shot here. This whole, uh... This whole business with the, uh, Air Fortress, and the Air Force, and all that fun stuff. Um... Hopefully things go our way, right? That's the hope. We did get to Air Fortress once. I don't know how many attempts it took to get there. Uh, but it was really bad luck. Um... We did have the one run that we got there. We had probably three rounds where we had really good luck. And as a result, we were fortunate enough to get to that air fortress. But I failed to execute uh, what I needed in a Joker Doom. And the thing is, it was a really, really, really good setup. I had plenty of time. I had all the time in the world. And I don't know how I... I don't know what I did wrong. That's the problem. But... Pressing the button too fast shouldn't be a thing. That would be a problem, so if it wasn't pushing the button too fast, then it was I had the reel too far behind my target, and so when I pressed the button quickly, it was too fast, but that's my fault, not the, me pressing the button's fault, but... me not lining up my stuff right and feeling I don't know discouraged after I failed I suppose this is one of the if not the most difficult segment of this entire run of the whole game because it's less about the RN or it's more about the RNG than it is about your ability to execute. I mean usually in a game you can kind of execute yourself out of issues and problems. Just execute and you're okay most most every game, but This is just a really difficult spot. Just, there's so much that can go wrong. And for things right, uh, for things to go right, well, I mean, it doesn't have to be just like one set thing. You don't necessarily have to go first every round in order to in order to win the round. Um, even if you don't get to go first, I believe there's only a one in four chance that they will. Uh, that they'll use absolute zero. So that means there's a 75% chance that they won't use absolute zero. But that's one on one guy, right? Oftentimes the more problematic formations are the ones that we have like right here where there's three of them and well going forward it's just one of me so
I don't know how those odds stack up. It all really comes down to basically who gets to go first. That's the first thing. If I get to go first, then this is going to be easy. That's just how it works. But if they get to go first, it might still work out in my favor, but... I don't know. When they're uh, real absolute zero happy, like they're just cranking that spell out like nobody's business, that's pretty tough because the odds are stacked against you that you're going to get to go first. You get to go first, I don't know, about half the time. So you just have to hope the other half, when they get to go first, that they don't use absolute zero. And you gotta kind of hope they don't also use tech laser, because if they use tech laser, then you basically have to vanish on your next turn. And if you don't, there's probably something like, probably 10%. 15% chance that you'll survive that round. I mean, you can do it. You can get lucky. But when they get that many turns to try and ruin you, your odds are not really all that good. There we go, we got lucky, we got to go first against, even against a, a three formation. The three formations are, they can be pretty brutal. But uh, our ATB gauge was about a third the way filled at the beginning of the battle. And Gao is fast. I mean, compared to like. I mean, Locke is the fastest. Probably then Saban after him. Potentially Shadow. I'm not sure where Shadow sits in that group there. And then Gao is probably next after those guys. Gao might even be faster than one of those guys. I doubt that he's faster than two of those guys, though. So, I think this is only the second round here, which means we got a long ways to go. Uh, I've gone over it in the past, but in the event that somebody's watching this that uh, wasn't watching the previous installments, what we're trying to do here is get to the boss, which is, well, the boss's name is, there we go, we're getting lucky there. We didn't get to go first, but they used a physical attack, they missed, I got to go second, we're back in business. Uh, the monster uh, that we're going to be fighting for the final boss is Air Fortress. Um, his timing, I think his timing is uh, different on the reels than a standard. I think. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but I think so. He also has a move called Atomic Ray that I'm pretty sure wrecks Joker Doom. So not only is it really a challenge to get to this guy, um, he can he can beat you pretty easily 
Uh, I did get to him once in my last uh, attempt, actually. I think it was the last attempt. Um, but I failed to execute my Joker Doom. Um, it was... I mean, I couldn't have asked for a better setup. I had all the time in the world. I didn't know that I had all the time in the world, but the way it played out, I had all the time in the world. So that would have been a perfect time to try and just to get that on the first try that I got there. And I blew it. So I got nobody to blame for myself on that one. It's a tough battle, though. No matter way, no matter what way you want to slice it, he is a tough fight. Um, he's tough. I think that was only number three. Yeah, I don't like the odds of this. Wow, that's crazy. Because my ATB gauge was almost like, it was like basically empty when the battle started. So it's really pretty surprising uh, that I would have got to go first there. I'm kind of. I'm at a loss. I mean, if I if I get to go first on that one, then I should get to go first on everyone. Just the way I see it. Alright. Also, for anybody who might just be randomly seeing this and wondering what in the world is going on, this is all like uh, level 6 playthrough for this game. Meaning that at the end of the game, we're just going to have four level 6 characters, which is the lowest allowed by the game. And we're actually pretty far through the whole thing, as far as the actual percentage of time, at least time on the game clock, we're probably somewhere between two-thirds and three-quarters the way through. Uh-oh. Oh man, that's really too bad. That's really unfortunate. We were really on a nice roll there. And it was a duo. It wasn't even a three spot. It was a two spot. They didn't even get me with absolute zero, which really wrecks my odds here because... We went pretty deep into that, and I died, and it wasn't to absolute zero. So... <sighs> that just extends the number of battles I need to consecutively make it through without absolute zero going on. So I really don't like my odds here. And I don't remember if it's six or seven or eight. You know, I feel like I should probably put something other than the, um, that cherub down on him. Like a white cape.
a white cape might save my life. six or seven to go. Getting lucky. Ooh, and then absolute zero, like almost immediately. We got lucky there, boys. down still got quite a few to go I think it was seven I think it was seven rounds I th you know to going into it I thought it was only five that you had to defeat five or six I was thinking I mean, six would make sense, because technically this is the sixth Final Fantasy game, so, you know, that would make sense. I think that was our third round there. Starting off at like 10% ATB gate, I don't like it. Yeah, it was it was bound to happen. We were on a real strong run there. We should have won that one. We had enough. We had enough battles consecutively without absolute zero to have gotten it. But that one round, we just kind of got ripped off by that. Uh, that oh crap that Just got uh, screwed by that uh, tech laser propeller combo, you know, the timing 
there was just really, really bad, and uh, that wrecked it. So, I mean, who knows now how long it's going to be before we can get that kind of run again. I mean, who knows? It's pretty unforgiving, this segment here. I feel really, really... Uh, I don't know what the word would be. It's hard to describe. Um, dude, really? Come on. Here we go now with this garbage now, see? It's coming on in full force just straight trash and now I'm starting to get frustrated I had my window there was my window I made it to the guy and then my next attempt I should have made it and now I feel like my opportunity has passed me by and I'm gonna have to sit here and grind this for who knows how long again. <sighs> yeah, I would say this is the worst part of the whole thing. It again with the absolute zero on me. See, now the computer's angry because we were doing well there and we had our window and now it's mocking us because it's like, dude, we gave you a chance and you squandered it, so feel the wrath. Feel the wrath of your ineptitude. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. I should have, I should have not botched that Joker Doom, and we wouldn't be there in this predicament. We'd be done. We'd be in the second. We'd be in the world of ruin by now. Dude, look at that. How many in a row now? Three straight, absolute zeros before Gao even gets to go? Alright, I think I am going to uh, look into maybe changing that cherub down. I don't know why I got that on him in the first place. But I just don't know what to give him. White cape is solid defensive stuff, okay? So I got no problem giving him a white cape. I just don't know that anything else is really gonna do him any good. If running shoes stack, that would be fantastic. Regan, I don't think that's going to help me out that much. Where did I even get that cure ring? I must have got that in the Imperial base. Um, you know, I am going to just leave that white cape on there.
Maybe I'll get it on the first try now with this set of gear. That would be cool. I mean, the white cape could potentially keep me alive in a non-absolute zero situation. Like if they're using a physical attack on me, or even tech laser. Um, it's definitely possible. Come on now. Give me a break with this garbage. Uh, that the extra defense might save my life in one of the later rounds. That's definitely a possibility. Wow, that guy actually missed, physically missed. see how we go I guess I'll probably give this I don't know a few more tries I really wanted to get this done right now at least get to the save point you know if I can get to the next save point then that's that's really what I'd like to do uh, even if I end the stream at that point because that means I got past this garbage, and it really is, it's a dumpster fire, man, big time, this section, I've, I've tried to, you know, find ways to rework this thing, and this is the best that I've got so far, um, if there is a better way, a more consistent way, a safer way uh, that sounds good to me but as it stands I don't know of any other way other than any better way than what I do at least at this level I mean obviously stronger characters have a lot more options available but as it stands and what what with what I have to do um, well I mean I used Rodox instead of Marshall for a while I think Marshall's faster I think it hits more than Snare, and it also hits multiple targets, so... I don't know. I think Marshall hits more than 50% of the time. It says 50% in the books, but... I don't know. They just say the same thing about Elf Fire from that, uh... Oh, what's... What, can't think of the name of that monster now. Uh, it's an undead that you 
encounter on the Phantom Train. Um, I can't think of his name right now, but... Uh, his rage is... I think it's called Elf Fire. It does, like, really good damage, like, over a thousand damage. Um, which for me is, like, crazy high damage. Um, and reliably. But... He hardly ever uses it. When you use that rage, I swear it's like maybe like 20% who does elf fire, 25% maybe. Getting lucky. We got really good ATB gauge there. I wish I knew how to make that to like make that in my favor consistently. That would be so huge. I think this is three or four. <sighs> Round three or four. We should be getting a notification at the end of this one here, I think. Telling us that they've uh, spotted something. To be aware. Yeah, sometimes you get into this here where he doesn't want to do his attack at all. Maybe not, maybe that's not until the next round. So maybe this is the fifth round then? I don't remember. Yes! So we got really lucky there. Not only did I get to go second, but when they went first, they used propeller, which I was immune to at the time, and that's pretty massive. Uh, for me to have survived this round. Um, this is a really tough round here. Now I think it's only one or maybe two more of these encounters and then I will be at the boss if I can get past those. Plus another thing, I'm pretty sure these guys are weak to wind, so that's also an incentive to use Martial Rage. Like I'm doing, I did like 700 and some damage to that last round, so like that's pretty, it's pretty beefy in these low levels. All right, there's our notification. I think last time the notification came and there was one or two more battles. I thought there was going to be another one than there was. There we go. Just dominated. And each attempt takes so long, it seems. Uh, there's just no other way. That's the problem. Well, I mean, 
a person could use like save states and stuff like that but that's not what I'm doing here I should have got this a long time ago. It's my fault that I didn't beat it the first time. I just jumped the gun. And I locked in that chocobo. I don't know how I even did that. Like, I didn't, I wasn't that far behind. I mean, I don't know. I feel like that shouldn't have happened. Oh, but. You know, if the timing is different for that fight, I can totally see why. There are a few fights where just plain standard Joker Doom will have a different timing, but usually the battles that have a different timing are the reverse Joker Doom battles. Um, the Joker Doom battles are usually pretty straightforward. Just lock the reels. That's it. That's all you gotta do. It's not that complicated. Or it shouldn't be. It will feel really nice when I get through this. That's for sure. There we go, boom. Good stuff. We started off at about 25, 20%, something like that, I think, on the ATB gauge, so it could have been worse. Diffuser. Boy, I haven't seen that in a while. Pulling out the... Where did that... Diffuser. I wonder what causes them to use that. Because we've been doing this for a while. And that's the first time Diffuser has come out. So there must have been something that triggered that. I wonder what that could have been. Oh, come on, man. Dude. No, dude. 
I mean, I liked my spot there. I mean, I I had an ATB gauge at about 30 percent, 25, 30 percent to start that round. I liked my odds there, and then the tech laser happened, and I was like, ah oh, man, this is, might be a little tough. I'm gonna have to vanish again, and then <laughs> somehow another they get absolute zero and sneak that in there. It's like, come on, man. It's not so bad if you just get it on the first try. Wait a minute. We're only fighting two of them. Don't we usually fight three in the first round? Go gal blocking that business. I wonder if there's a way to manipulate the number of monsters, just like there is a way in the Meg Rotors. Pretty sure this is the same music as the Meg Rotors, too. Just reminding you that it's the same bunch of BS, only this time is worse. I wonder what determines how many uh, of them are in the formation. That seems to be like pretty important information. If I can manipulate that. That wind slash becomes even more advantageous in a situation like this where you're being pincer attacked because usually in magic you're not going to be able to get enemies on both sides of you. Even if you try to, even if you try to multi target attack, so they get a multi target on the one side, but the uh, wind slash catches all sides. It's just a really good, really, really, really good attack.
Well... So far we fought two in both rounds. And our formation is no one, Gao, Setzer, Lock. First slot is empty. Which I pretty much never do. It's pretty rare that I have the first slot open. Just throw the one alive. Well, we'll see here. We could still get wrecked though. But now we're really hoping for magic attack until we can get that vanish up. Oh man, maybe we'll get it. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh. ho ho. Did he just block propeller? Or was that back? Whatever the mute, the mute one, whatever that is. We are fortunate and blessed to still be here. Double again. Did we have a double in the last round too? Or have they all been doubles? I thought that these were scripted. These encounters. That they were the same every time. We're getting there on the other side of the hill here now. Uh oh. Well, now we're hoping for magic, magic, and vanish, and we'll keep this alive. Oh, we got it. We are really blessed to <laughs> uh, still be hanging around here after all that business. I think I got one or two more battles now. I think it's two more.
But uh, this might be the first trio of the batch so far. just so soul crushing because you know you're you're just Johnny on the spot with your task that you need to do and you just keep on getting wrecked we've only made it to the boss one time this is not typical. Well, I don't know if there is even typical with this one. Of all of the weird things, well, I shouldn't say weird. There's like three, there's three main spots. There's the sewer rats. There is... The stealing of the dragoon boots. And then there is the... Air Force and Air Fortress. Oh, there's the Mag Rotors, too. Um, yeah, I guess stealing of the Dragoon Boots is its own separate thing, but it's heavily dictated by RNG. This is worse than the Mag Rotors, definitely. And the Sewer Rats, I mean, the Sewer Rats can be as bad as any they can they can be so bad because well typically if you can get past the first two then you're fine but sometimes you just can't get past the first two for the life of you I mean it's just sometimes those first two can be pretty bad anyway that's gonna do it for this one I have all intents of coming back on here in the somewhat near future and Lord willing I will be trying this again.